14 goals conceded in the first six and zero in the last three. So it seems like a pretty big shift. What do you think from the defender's perspective has changed? I think it's just a mentality, mentality, just to pride yourselves on not giving up goals. And um, you know, a lot of times when you look at some of the goals we give up, it's uh, losses in possession and things like that. So you know, we, when we can, you know, cut those out, it helps. But you know, like I said last week, you know. Having someone like Riggi come in and help organize a little bit more, you know, I'm, you know, one of the more vocal guys, and so is Riggi, and you know, luckily we're kind of dragging that out of Diego Char a little bit more, and, and Valeri and Seba, you know, it's not their personalities to be as loud. Me and Riggi are very loud on and off the pitch, so it makes it easy when we transfer that. But obviously, having him in there helps a lot. Um, uh, again, Jeff talks a lot too, so it's it's a lot of it's a combination of a lot of things. But you know, I think overall it's a collective mentality that we're having to just pride ourselves on not giving up goals. And then again, we have some special pieces. Diego last week, Sam came in with a ridiculous pass, Sebu with an incredible finish. Uh, celebration was a little questionable, but it's all good. How are for the conditions uh, playing out there today? Listen, um, it's terrible, and I get why we play at this hour. It's a it's the premier derby in the entire league, and that's cool. But to be fair and to be quite frank, the, the league is sacrificing the quality on the pitch because it's so freaking hot out there. You know, instead of getting a game at 7.30 on a pitch that's cooler and where you can move the ball faster, the quality will be a lot higher. That's will be a better footballing match. But I get it that, you know, they want to make it, you know, visible on the East Coast, and I understand these types of things, but, you know, the quality lacks a little bit when it's 115 on the field and every five minutes I'm next to the... I'm asking fans for water bottles to, to cool my feet off. So, you know, it's a great spectacle and it's great to win at home and we love to put on a good performance, but it's really tough in these conditions. And I understand why we play at such, at the hour, you know, when I was in Norway, I watched these games. It was early enough to where I watched the games and that's super cool. And the rest of the world gets to see that and I understand it. But at the same time, the quality's down. And I talked to, I was talking to the, uh, Leardham on the field and we said, you know what, like, it's so hot, you know, we're, we're walking around the field and obviously we walked a little bit quicker and got a goal. But at the same time, I think the level would be a lot higher had these games be more of a prime time spot as opposed to a one o'clock kickoff. And it's, I don't even know what the temperature is, but it was at least 100 degrees on the field. And, you know, that, that, that takes away from the quality of play.